Hey everybody! Welcome to Dog Oracle. Today we'll look at two of the most popular guard dogs to date. Make sure to watch until the end to see which guard dog best suits you. Keep in mind that this video does not tell you what is right or wrong when it comes to choosing your guard dogs. Both breeds have their pros and cons. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we release more amazing dog videos like this one. So let's get started. With the amount of information about guard dogs we get out there, it might be very overwhelming but we are here to settle the question. Which is the better guard dog? The Rottweiler or the Cane Corso? Both the Rottweiler and the Cane Corso are excellent guard dogs, but they have distinct characteristics that make one more suitable than the other. In this video, we'll look at their similarities and differences in areas like personality traits, appearances, training requirements, and much more. History Let's start with a look at their past. We cannot ignore this aspect as this influences their behavior and characteristics. When a dog is bred, the physical and behavioral characteristics are embedded into its DNA. The Molosser is the ancestor of both the King Corso and the Rottweiler. Molossers were spread in different places. Molossers that made their way to Italy were bred with local dogs. One of these breeds is Cane Corso. They started as soldiers with a bucket of oil fastened to their backs, and the Cane Corso would charge right into enemy lines during battle. When the Roman Empire fell, the Cane Corso found themselves out of work. However, they adapted and were used to hunt wild boar and guard farms. With this history, it's easy to understand why these dogs are so large and protective. When it comes to weight, Cane Corsos are no match to Rottweilers. Male Cane Corsos typically weigh 99 to 110 pounds, while females weigh 88 to 99 pounds. Males can reach a height of 25.5 inches, while females can reach a height of 23.5 inches. Cane Corsos have a life expectancy of 9 to 12 years. Molossers that ended up in Germany, on the other hand, became the foundation of most German breeds, including Rottweilers. Rottweilers, unlike Cane Corso, were not war dogs. Instead, they were drover dogs who moved and protected cattle that the Roman legions took with them for food consumption. When the Roman Empire fell, they were also out of work, but their skills were put to use, protecting and transporting cattle to market in the German town of Rottweil. Their background as drover dogs explain why they are so protective, trainable, and strong. This eventually led them to being police and service dogs. Rottweilers are referred to as large giants. Males can weigh 95 to 130 pounds, while females typically weigh 85 to 115 pounds. As for their height, it is just similar to the cane corso. Rottweilers have a slightly shorter lifespan than the cane corsos, ranging from 9 to 10 years. Appearance Next, we will get into the appearances of Cane Corso and Rottweilers. Cane Corsos are known for their huge heads and muscular bodies, which are covered in short, stiff fur. Their coats may range from black, brown, gray to red. Those with lighter coats may have dark masks. Cane Corsos have a broad chest and ears that are shaped like an upside-down triangle. So Rottweilers' appearance has not changed significantly from before. The muscular frame of this breed is highlighted by a well-defined chest and powerful hindquarters. They only have black and tan coats. However, red and blue coat dogs are beginning to appear, despite the fact that they do not meet the breed criteria. Training Requirements Let's look at how the two breeds differ in terms of training requirements. The energy level of a cane corso is high, while that of a Rottweiler is moderate to high. Because Cane Corsos are working dogs, you may be surprised by their high levels of energy, which are not suitable for being confined to the house. Rottweilers are likewise a high-energy breed. They must be walked frequently to avoid becoming bored and causing extra problems. Both dog breeds require activity due to their size, which requires them to maintain a normal weight and muscle mass for health reasons. Cane Corsos require 1-2 to two hours of activity per day, whereas Rottweilers require 2-3 to three hours of exercise per day, divided into smaller bouts of 20-30 to 30 minutes each. Moderate exercise is suitable for both the Cane Corso and the Rottweiler. They both have a lot of stamina. 
However, the Rottweiler's joints should be taken into consideration. Temperament Temperament varies from one dog to another, but in general, there are common traits that each breed exhibits. Rottweilers appear to be bold, social, alert, intelligent, protective, and stubborn. The Cane Corso, on the other hand, has a more cheerful characteristic. It is social and courageous also. It has a similar temperament with Rottweilers, but due to their strong sense of independence, they are a little less affectionate. Intelligence and Trainability Rottweilers are one of the world's top 10 most intellectual dog breeds. This makes them a super intelligent breed. Thanks to that, they are incredibly easy to train. However, when training dogs for a certain activity or purpose, it is always advisable to obtain professional assistance. Cane Corsos are very intelligent as well, but fall a little behind Rottweilers. This isn't to say they aren't capable. These dogs have a reputation for being extremely intelligent, which has made them a trusted guard dog for ages. They are also very easy to teach, and with all of their energy, they must devote it to training to provide you with an obedient and effective guard dog. Intimidation and Territorial Traits both Cane Corso and Rottweilers have very intimidating looks and are fiercely territorial, making them ideal guard dogs rather than family dogs. The size and stature of a Rottweiler, as well as the massive build and sharp ears of a Cane Corso, are enough to deter other persons with malicious intentions. Make sure that both breeds are well trained so that they will know when to activate their guard mode. You don't want your friends or relatives to have a difficult time visiting your home. Loyalty and Courage How about the loyalty and courage of these two breeds? Rottweilers and Cane Corsos are both known for their loyalty and bravery. They are affectionate and easily bond with their family. They wouldn't think twice about putting themselves in danger to protect their family. Playfulness and Social Needs What about these two breeds' playfulness and social needs? Rottweilers are extremely social dogs. They require a lot of social interaction to feel happy, as well as a lot of affection, and they do not like being left alone. They are not overly playful because they were bred to be working dogs. Cane Corsos, on the other hand, are a social breed, but not on the same level as Rottweilers. Cane Corsos, like Rottweilers, don't mind playing every now and then, but they prefer to be with their owner and don't like being alone at home. Child Friendly Next. Are they good with children, or do they get along well with children? Cane Corsos are a dog breed that prefers peace and independence, which do not really match with the playfulness of children. They are not unfriendly to children, but they are also not friendly. They may grow accustomed to children of any age if they are exposed to a variety of socialization opportunities, and they do not also overreact. Rottweilers, on the other hand, are particularly gentle with children because of their family-oriented nature. However, bear in mind that these are large dogs with a powerful bite, so teach your kids how to properly handle them. Rottweilers can also cause problems when their child's friends visit, as loud noises may make them feel compelled to protect their child. First-time owners? Finally, are the two breeds suitable for first-time owners? Cane Corsos and Rottweilers are both extremely intelligent and far too large for a first-time dog owner to handle. Because they are so intelligent, they require an experienced person to train and handle them. Take note, large dogs! If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also get access to the airplane game mini course that you can play with your dog that helps increase your dog's focus and obedience. You can find it in the description box below this video, completely free. Check out this next video where the Rottweiler takes on the Doberman Pinscher. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.